So, hi and welcome to the final review of my Friday the 13th marathon. Yes, we are at the finale and I'm going to review the remake. So, Friday the 13th remake is from 2009, it's from the US. It's directed by Marcus Niespel, written by Mark Wheaton, Damian Shannon, Mark Swift, and based on the characters created by Victor Miller. Starring Jared Padalecki, Amanda Rigetti, Derek Mears, Daniel Panabaker, Travis Van Winkle, Aaron Yu, Ben Feldman, and America Olivo. Among <laughs> a lot of a lot of people. Yes, okay. So I have to say that I think that this remake actually works. It ha has a few issues, but overall, I actually quite enjoyed this remake, which I didn't think I would uh, when I saw it the first time. But I do have to say that the opening uh, credits uh, featuring uh, a reenactment of what happened with uh, Alice and the mom from the beginning, I didn't really care for that at all. It felt kind of cheap. Didn't really like the cinematography in the opening credit scene. Uh, so when I first saw that the first time, I, I got a bit disappointed. I'm like, oh no, is it going to be like this? But then we cut to a group of people. And I actually uh, like that they have, like the scene after the opening scene is quite long. So instead of like a very quick death scene, like. In a lot of slasher movies or uh, remakes or just horror movies in general, uh, the first scene is usually, you know, you get to meet a character for like a minute or two and then they just die. It's their first victim. But in this one, uh, we meet a group, group of people and this scene is actually quite long. So we get to know them, we get to know the surroundings and I really appreciate that. Yeah, because I kind of felt that the movie uh, was split into two parts almost and that was very cool and I do have to say that it was fun watching Ben Feldman in this one uh, because I recently just finished watching Superstore you know the comedy show and he had he's one of the main characters and it's fun to then watch him in this one again in in the remake it's like oh that's Jonah from Superstore yeah it's it's funny yeah but he, he was a fun character in this one. I enjoyed watching him. Uh, and also, then we move on to, uh, like, not the second half. It, the first half wasn't that long. But maybe the, uh, it was like one third or one quarter. And then we move on to another story uh, featuring a group of uh, people that are going uh, out to a cabin to party. Where have you heard that one before? Yeah. And then we also have a character uh, played by uh, Jared Padalecki. And I just recently finished every season of Supernatural. Like this year, I started watching the first season and I saw all 15. So when I s first saw uh, this remake, I didn't really, you know, I wasn't like, oh my God, it's Sam from Supernatural. Uh, I was like, oh, that's, uh, you know, that guy from House of Wax. Yeah. That was my reference point. But now that I've seen Supernatural, I'm like, oh, it's so fun to see Jared Podolecki, you know. Yes. And I had to wear, you know, flannel, of course, to honor him. But he is searching for his missing sister. Uh, yes. And so he's searching for his missing sister. And this, the uh, and he bumps into these kids, the group of kids that are, not kids, but young, young adults, that are partying at his cabin. And, of course, Jason worries it was running amok yeah of course but i have to say that this movie probably has the most cringe-worthy sex scene i've ever seen or at least the dialogue was so cringe-worthy like when i had to re-watch that i'm like Ugh, just stop talking stop saying words don't say those words yeah that that dialogue that that was horribly written Maybe on purpose, I don't know, but that was awful. Yeah. And it also features one of the, like, just uh, most uh, selfish and just, uh, I don't know. Her boyfriend in this one was horrible. Yeah, he was just lousy and 
yeah, I couldn't wait to see him, you know, meet Jason, actually. But I think that scene was a bit lame. It could have been a lot better, actually. Uh, but a lot of the kills in this one is ac are actually quite good. Uh, very brutal. Yeah, there's one, uh, a character gets, uh, I don't remember if it's an ice pick or if it's just a screwdriver uh, or something like that, but like stuck through through the neck. And it's also quite drawn out. It's not your typical, you know, he pushes something in and you see like some blood and that's it. It was it was quite long and withdrawn and that, that was good. You can see the pain, the suffering, and it just hit a bit more. So that was really, really good. Yeah, and we get a lot of gore in this one. But I wish that some of the scenes had even more gore. Yeah, like there there was a, um, you know, sleeping bag situation because they needed to do an homage, but I think they could have done it better, actually. It felt a bit tame, in my opinion. Yes. Uh, but overall, uh, it's a story, it's a very familiar story we know, but it's still a fun uh, story. And I do like Jason in this one, but there is just one thing that's very weird. Uh, and it is actually what uh, happens to Jared Paladetsky's uh, sister. Because that, that was very weird, that whole situation, actually. Because she was in the first group. And then Jason got her, and it it was just weird for Jason to do that, in my opinion. But, yeah. So, as I said, this movie has some flaws and some things that are like, okay, um, I don't really get. But it's, it is also a fun, bloody, gory movie. Very fast, fast-paced. And, yeah, I, I do like the ending. And, yeah, so, here is my copy. Friday the 13th, it's the extended cut, because there's a difference between the uh, theatrical cut and this one. I think it was like 41 differences. Yeah, so a lot more. And some extra material materials. Jason Voorhees Resurrection, one, st uh, one step backwards, two stabs forwards, the best kills, alternative scenes. So I definitely have to check this out. But I am giving this one an, a 7 out of 10. I think it's a fun remake. And if you haven't seen it, because you don't really like remakes, then please just give this one a chance. Okay, so that's it for my Friday the 13th marathon. And since this was the last one, I wanted to, you know, pimp this video out with some of my Jason Voorhees dolls. And I also want to remind you all of the live stream on Sunday that I will be having with this team. Theme, not team, but theme, Friday the 13th. We will discuss the movies in detail, so there will be a lot of spoilers. But I hope you will join me. I think it will be super fun. We can discuss our favorite kills. We can discuss twists. We can discuss characters. Best, worst movie in the series. Yes. So please join me this Sunday. And also please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed my Friday the 13th marathon. I've had so much fun and I can't wait to do a marathon like this one again. So if you have any suggestions uh, or any film series you want me to review, you know, like the uh, Freddy Krueger movies or the Chucky movies or Scream movies or any other uh, film series that has more than maybe three movies, uh, then I will be happy to do it, if I have it in my collection, of course. So, thank you so much. Please write down your thoughts in the comments about all of the th Friday the 13th movies. And if you haven't watched my earlier reviews of the earlier movies, then you can just scroll down and do so. Okay. I, yeah, I'm tired now, but I've had so much fun. And I hope you are having an amazing day. And uh, however you celebrate this day, I hope you're doing well. Bye.